The Kardashians are back. Kim weeps over the modern-day sex tape torment. Courtney gets steamy with Travis, and serial cheater Tristan vows to win back Chloe. In the first episode of Family Man's new exhibit less than a year after their 15-season run on E! came to an end. The Kardashians are back with a brand new collection on Hulu. Interestingly it mirrored how the original series debuted in referencing her infamous intercourse tape, which drove Kim Kardashian to tears. The first season of Keeping Up with the Kardashians debuted in the aftermath of Kim Kardashian's leaked sex tape with ex-boyfriend Ray J back in 2007. The debut of Hulu's The Kardashians opens in an eerily similar way, with Kim breaking down in tears when her six-year-old son Saint saw an advert online for the now infamous sex tape. The drama began early on in the episode during a household barbecue when Kim's eldest son Saint, six, shows her something on his iPad from his Roblox video game. Kim is shocked by means of whatever she saw on the game as she quickly goes to sister Chloe to exhibit her while trying not to alert Saint on what the content means. Saint says that it's now not his character, it's a game, but Kim says, oh it's a game? Oh, well then we're using them if it's a game with my identify and picture. She later explained in a confessional, there was a picture of my cry face and then I looked at it and it stated something super inappropriate, Kim's new sex tape. This is supposed to be unreleased footage from my historical sex tape. The last thing that I want as a mother is for my past to be brought up 20 years later especially when it is a big celebration and my whole family is here. This is some really embarrassing and I need to deal with it and I will deal with it. I simply cannot believe this is happening right now. It all got here to a head at the very end of the episode as Chris and Courtney and Chloe meet with Kim. When Kim gets a call from power legal professional Marty Singer about the threats there is more footage. Our legal rights are she can sue anyone who releases the tape if it even exists. They have no legal proper to release the tape without her consent, Marty says. Kim says that Ray J's manager claims there is another tape of Ray J and Kim in Santa Barbara.